I've been flying the honey badger the past couple of days. Three little short five minute long flights. I'm just using a 2200 milliamp hour battery so five minutes is a good time. Seven minutes would be outstanding. So this is about seven years old. Going on seven years old now. So it's my first build and one I love. So I've been going really, really gently. It's a little heavy. Was never meant to fly this much hardware. Peter was amazed when I actually got it to fly with a autopilot on it, completely automated. Uh, that was the guy who made the frame. I've got that big old clunky 900 megahertz radio on the back there on the bottom. You can see the two little short antennas. Above that, the two long 6-inch antennas are like um, 2.4 gigahertz RC receiver, the yellow thing right there in the back. And you can see the GPS, 3DR GPS sticking up on the mast. Uh, I could make that a whole lot lighter now than it was six years ago, let me tell you. And it's not a very good look at the old Ardu APM 2.5, I think it is. Really, really old. Won't run the current software because of uh, 8 bits, not capable. Uh, the memory is so limited in this flight controller, uh, it won't hold. <laughs> the software we use today. Uh, that was end of lifespan about, mm, I don't know, about four years, five years ago. <laughs> and replaced by the Pixhawk by 3DR. And then everybody started cloning these after that. Uh, got a little voltage regulator for the camera and the uh, video transmitter right there on the bottom right you can see that kind of spaghetti there off the left side of it or actually it's the right side in this picture that's just uh, I added that on I had the platform flying and as you can see here all that spaghetti on that side is literally there because I added it on after the fact I had the frame and everything running and then I mounted the camera on the front and the dampening mount. You can see the little orange foam things. And that whole thing floats up and down, including the part where the video transmitter and antenna are. That's all one piece that adds on to the front with those little four orange vibration dampeners. And so all that spaghetti on that side is for that voltage regulator and to get that transmitter and camera going because uh, I added it on as the last thing I did with the Honey Badger. I have no idea what camera this is without taking it off and looking at the circuit board. Maybe I can figure it out from there. It's again uh, approximately seven years old. <laughs> uh, and I can't readily see any uh, markings on the back. Uh, I could take this camera off. I could take the RC receiver off. I could take the video transmitter off. I could take the uh, telemetry radio off and replace them with all much lighter versions right now. I don't know that I want to touch this. Like I said, this is my original build. And I've just been playing with it to see if it still flies. And it does a bit a little clunkier than the ones nowadays but here you go here's a little bit of the flight today about two and a half minutes of it like I say it's a 2200 milliamp hour 3s battery oh I couldn't believe this old camera sure doesn't adjust to the uh, color changes now this was in manual mode I just took it straight up it's underpowered then I just dropped it back down because it was moving around up there in the wind and I wanted to get it back down without hitting a tree uh, this is just a small place back here for me to fly you can see the distance from here to that tree oops and 
the limbs stick out towards me, so <laughs> I don't have as far as from here to the trunk of that tree to fly in. And right to left, it's not much better either. I have other places on the property I can go for a little more, but this was just some uh, first flights. So it was in manual mode, and I was trying to trim it a little. I did finally put it in altitude hold mode. It used to do altitude hold just so well. It had 12 satellites hooked up for this flight, so just did want to keep drifting to the right and forward. It never did that before. I did try an autonomous mission with it. It didn't fly it very well. I've got to find a correct version of the ground software to try to make that work. I'm not sure what to do there. I'm still experimenting with that. Uh, I also didn't have the antennas in the basement oriented correctly for doing this video. Got close to that little limb there that time. This was all line of sight flying. Uh, like I say, the video transmitters were and the video receiver were 90 degrees out of phase for this because I just had it laying on the table in the basement receiving this video rather than having it upright in the basement receiving this video. I'll correct that over the next couple of days and see if we can't clean up this video a little bit. Anyway, the honey badger rides again.